All right, I can go as far back as I can. Hello everyone, so today's workout is going to be a HIIT. For those of you who do not know what a HIIT workout is, it is high intensity interval training. So the purpose of this is that we are going through exercise quickly. So instead of working out for let's say 60 minutes a day, the purpose is that we're doing this in 20 minutes or less. So I'm going to keep track of time, but I'm also going to start with leading you guys through the exercises, okay? And knowing that we are ready to go. So first thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead. We're gonna do a basic stretch for about 10 seconds. Now, if you're having a little bit of a struggle balancing, you can always stick out your arm. One of the things I tell my volleyball girls to do is put their arm up and just for 10 seconds, making sure Quads are warm. Awesome. Another part of our warm up is we're going to go ahead. We're going to kind of move side to side through a side lunge. So I don't want us moving into this workout without any sort of work happening. So you are going to move freely from side to side for about five more seconds. Awesome. Okay. Another part of our warm up is you guys are going to extend your arms long and you're going to walk out. So touch your toes, walk your hands out into a plank. From here, I want you to drop your hips. I want you to drop those hips one by one. It's about four times total. And then from here, up back to plank. And you guys will walk your hands back. We're gonna do that one more time, just to make sure our bodies are warm. Come down and touch your toes. Walk all the way out to plank. Drop those hips. Hip tap to the right, hip tap to the left. Hip tap to the right, hip tap to the left. And walk those hands back. All right, and as we can feel, our heart rate is starting to already pick up. The next part of our warm up, just really quick, is we're gonna do about 10 high knees. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, from here, next thing that we're going to do is just practice the movements. So our movements today are pretty simple. However, I'm gonna go over the movement and also modification, just in case you guys are having to modify, which is completely fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this closer for us. Okay. Our first exercise for today, okay, is a jump squat. So, if you don't know how to jump squat, you will go into a squatting position. Okay, from here, your arms are driving you up, okay? Now, if jump squats are not for you, sensitive knees, those kinds of things, I just want you to squat, but as fast as you can. Okay, so popping back up as soon as you get to the bottom of a squat. That is our first exercise, okay? Our second one is a crab walk. So you will place your fingertips towards your butt, okay? So I don't want them facing this way, towards your butt, okay? So fingertips are facing this way. You will take two steps back, okay? And two steps forward. Now, notice when I'm moving, my opposite leg and foot, but with my arm, are moving, okay? So if my left foot is moving, my right hand is moving, okay? So I want your opposite foot and hand to be moving at the same time. So two steps forward, two steps back, okay? So that's our second exercise. Our third exercise in this HIIT workout is going to be a side leg raise. Now, this is for our obliques, and also we're working on the side of our quads. Okay, so while you guys are doing this, we are going to move in a direction. I want your hands up towards your head. This is what I'm looking for, but as quick as possible, okay? So I don't want this awkward pause when you guys come down unless you need to balance and you're looking for stability. But my number one goal is that we're getting as many reps in as quickly as we can. So that is our third exercise. Our fourth exercise is going to be push ups. Now, push-ups are really scary for everyone, so there is a modification. So I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna stay 
on my hands and my feet, okay? I'm gonna go all the way down and all the way back up. Now, a lot of us have a tendency when we're doing this to go this way with our arms. I really want your elbows to stay close to your body. I'll do it this way. If you're going to stay up on your hands, okay? Close to your body and back up, okay? Now, if you are not ready for an on your feet push up, that's completely fine. You can always drop to your knees, cross your feet, and go down into a push up, okay? This works just as well, okay? Modifications are usually just as challenging, so no worries on that end. Another one of our exercises, I think we're into exercise two, three, four, and five, is a jumping lunge. Also a little bit intimidating, okay? So you're going from here, jumping up, pulsing, into a jumping lunge, okay? So you have a brief second to pause as you move into that next foot, okay? Now, if you cannot participate in jumping lunges, you can always go into a backward lunge, okay? Now, as you're going through this backward lunge, now I'll just go at this angle, really make sure that when you step backwards, you are getting this nice 90 degree angle right here, okay? So I don't want this, and you're barely going down, okay? Unless you have to stick to that range of motion, I'm really looking for coming down and your knee is almost floating above the floor and switching in between legs. Again, as quick as you possibly can. The last one is jumping jacks. So from here, I'm sure you guys have all seen jumping jacks. Very simple. Your hands and your feet are moving outward and up at the same time. Okay, super simple. 